Hello and welcome to the channel. I have mixed feelings about using deep learning to reconstruct traces on seismic data, because some folks were puzzled by the real-world implementation after publishing brief overview on my LinkedIn page. The general concern was to fill up more significant mixing gaps and so on. But I can see how this work may be put into use in real world. And I would like to set up the narratives in this video. For those who don't know me, my name is Ruslan and I am the CTO at a software company. And for many years I've been developing and launching AI-based solutions for various aspects of oil and gas. On this channel I discuss AI-based applications in an easy to understand way. Let's lay out the problem where we might find ourselves in. The problem is that geophysicists may encounter incomplete or sparsely sampled seismic data during acquisition. Usually it might be due to physical constraints such as obstacles, hardware issues with geophones, and other factors that might result in missing traces. In some cases, it could also be because of financial limitations. The acquisition is not up to us, and it's the data that we have. We need to work with it. For example, do further processing with removing surface-related multiples or in four reservoir properties with AVO analysis. However, the mentioned workflows cannot handle irregular sampling and rely on the data that is uniformly and densely sampled. So, what we can do? We have to perform some interpolation. We could use traditional analytical-based interpolation methods, but they have the drawbacks of assuming linear events, and it would not be able to recover a consistent reflectivity pattern as a result. It may be possible to apply if only a few traces are absent. But if a larger portion of the data is missing, it may have undesirable outcomes. We are stuck. We are unable to proceed with the workflow because multi-channel data processing is very dependent on the spatial sampling intervals, resulting in reduced resolution. Increasing resolution necessitates rescaling data to a denser grid. Analytical methods are not the best way to go. Researchers from the China University of Geoscience propose solving the problem of missing data by incorporating deep learning to reconstruct missing traces on pre-stack and 2D post-stack seismic images. Let's begin the review by defining the two categories of missing data that this publication considers – regularly missing and irregularly missing data. As you might expect, irregular refers to a missing data on a uniform grid at random. The term regularly missing data refers to a missing data on a constant pattern. As a result, they presume that only individual traces are not present in the corrupted data. This is advantageous because the corrupted image retains some structural information, which may be reconstructed using adjacent traces. To accomplish this, they train a deep neural network with manually corrupted seismic images as input and corresponding reconstructed data as the network's output. As we know, the DL theory states that with enough such layers and given sufficient training data, very complicated functions or relations can be learned. Moreover, there is a chance that deep learning will avoid some assumptions restricting conventional interpolation methods such as assuming linear events. Let me know what you think about the problem of missing traces in a comment section. Do you see a real-world application of this research? And would you like to have this tool in your toolbox? Let's talk about deep learning architecture used in this publication. UNET is an encoder-decoder-style neural network that solves image-to-image -image translation tasks, as we know from the several publications covered on this channel. The encoder, which is contracting path, takes an incomplete data samples as input and produces multi-level, multi-resolutional feature representation by gradually calculating feature maps at many scales. The decoder, which is an expanding path, successfully reconstructs data from low-resolution to high-resolution feature maps. More information about the architecture 
Loss functions and optimizers can be found in the reference paper. Let's explore how to generate a dataset for the neural network. The authors use synthetic and field data to train and test the network. The synthetic data are modeled using forward modeling with adapted Pluto 1.5, a well-designed Earth model. The downsample Marmoset 2 of model is used to model the testing dataset. They use the Mobile Viking Graben Line 12 data collection for field training. Out of the 1001 shot gathers in a dataset, they use only 200 for training. The percent of missing data varies between 40% and 95%. To lower the network's computing requirements, we should break out the input image into smaller, faster to compute patches. After plenty of trial and error, the authors decided on the patch size of 112 by 112 pixels. More than a million patches are used in a training process. It took 50 epochs to complete the training. They only report performance on the training data and say nothing about performance on the test data set. So it's impossible to tell if there is an issue with overfitting. All right. Here is the most exciting part. The authors compare the reconstruction result of missing traces with the fast generalized Fourier transformation interpolation method. Read this publication for an additional information about the method. The FGFT interpolation method appears to be a strong contender. The authors use the FGFT method source code without adjusting the parameters and apply it to the missing seismic data. Here is the first set of images with irregularly missing data where the authors validate the performance of the train model on the training and testing data set. The model output shows a negligible difference between the true data and the deep learning results. That means that deep learning was able to reconstruct information properly. By the way, you know that oil and gas content is not trending on YouTube. If you enjoy that you've seen so far, smash that like button so that the video will reach more people. It's really much appreciated. The FGFT method's results on reconstructing missing traces on field data are presented here. It is important to remember that the parameters may not be optimal. Deep learning achieves lower MSC values and greater sound-to-noise ratio and structure similarity index values when compared to FGFT interpolation results. These results verify the performance of deep learning method. The train model is tested on post-stack seismic data and shows reduced precision which is reflected in a lower sound-to-noise value. It's worth noting that the model was only trained with pre-stack data, so the test on the post-stack data differs greatly from the training data set in this case. In comparison to the FGFT result, the model still produces acceptable reconstruction. Because irregularly missing data can be considered as a particular case of irregularly missing data, the train model can be successfully used for regularly missing data reconstruction as well. Ok, now is the time to wrap things up. The authors did an outstanding work creating a solution to a particular situation. There could be hardware issues such as geophone dying or not recording. Then we receive results that have some missing traces. However, they did not train and test the model for scenarios in which larger gaps are reconstructed due to physical constraints such as abstractions. Going deeper into the topic of larger gaps, I believe that UNET encoder-decoder architecture alone would not be able to reconstruct such a representation. The architecture would then have to be a generative adversarial neural network. And here is the article that deals with this issue. To summarize, we may proceed with the workflow that is presented in the study, without encountering strange artifacts or spending a lot of time fine-tuning the parameters of the conventional interpolation methods. Thanks to the authors for making this research public. I have another video here about using AI for removing coherent noises on seismic images. Consider checking this out. Thanks for watching and see you next time.